Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel today, and we're back for The Last of Us Part 2 video. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to talk about something fairly interesting. A lot of people have brought this up after examining the gameplay trailer, you know, gameplay, first gameplay we got, and I'm going to do a full breakdown to this probably in a couple weeks, depending on how, you know, things go, but I'm going to talk about one specific aspect in this video, and that is Dina's Bracelet. If you did not realize, as they skip time from the dance scene where Ellie and Dina kiss to where it skips right to where Ellie's fighting this cult, and you end up noticing one varying similarity that I pointed out at the beginning of that video with the circles. It's her bracelet. Dina's bracelet that she has on while she's kissing Ellie is now with Ellie. And that brings up a lot of possibilities of why and how this story is coming together. And I think I can paste a couple details that are fairly obvious to some if they've paid attention. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys smack a like at that sub. Let me know what you guys think the connection is, Dina's bracelet, and why you think it's going to be such an important part in The Last of Us Part 2. So, firstly, we know there is a going to be, most likely, a time skip after the dance scene. And it's probably going to happen. I don't know if this The Last of Us Part 2 is going to start with this dance scene or it's going to be a part of it. But we can make the assumption that it's somewhere near the beginning of the game this dance scene happens. And we get this time skip to where now Ellie is hunting this cult. But, what she said to Joel while she was playing that guitar, I kind of took note of. And, you know, I'm going to kill every single one of them. So let me play this clip and kind of explain why this may connect with what happened with Dina. What are you doing, kiddo? You really going to go through with this? I'm going to find... And I'm gonna kill every last one of them. And when you put these two different trailers slash gameplays together, it starts to really formulate what this plot is going to be. And in my opinion, this is my interpretation based on the facts we've gotten and what the two trailers, gameplays, and all that. I believe Dina is dead. And the evidence is with the bracelet. And I believe this cult, whoever Ellie is fighting here in this gameplay trailer is the exact same group that we see, you know, dead bodies all around when Joel walks in on Ellie playing the guitar. And then she says, I'm going to find and kill every last one of them. Hinting that maybe this is a story of revenge. Maybe since, you know, they were kind of like almost a thing. You know how, in the example in The Last of Us, the first one, you know, Riley and Ellie were kind of being a thing. Ellie is a lesbian, yes. And what we had potentially with Dina and Ellie was a relationship. And potentially this cult could have taken Dina, killed her. Maybe she's missing. We don't know. But Ellie's entire premise here is revenge. She wants to kill this cult. And that's what I think is going to be meant by this. Now, if we go into a breakdown of what this bracelet actually entitles, it may give us a little more explanation. So I ended up finding this answer from Neil Druckmann, big part of The Last of Us Part 2. He referenced his Israel roots with a ubiquitous symbol in the Middle East that often appears on jewelry and household items. It symbolizes the hand of a G and a D, a sign of perfection, luck, fortune, etc. Words away, evil. Like you'd hang a Hamsa charm on your front door to keep away negative energy. Wear a Hamsa charm on a necklace, keychain for good luck, and a lot of drivers have Hamsa charms on their rear view mirrors for protection. So this ends up being a Hamsa bracelet. And it symbolizes, yes, protection. It was part of Dina's religion symbolizes her, you know, affiliation towards a religion, and, you know, they like to have that kind of as a factor, so it's kind of like a ward in a way, to help protect her. Now, with Ellie having it on, that gives me the inclination that Dina, you know, something bad happened, and now Ellie's entire journey is going to be just going on a rampage, I guess. That could be part of it. I think there's more to it. This is not just a revenge story. There has to be more of a catch to it. Maybe it's not just Dina. Maybe Joel's also involved. 
Maybe he got captured or someone else he got injured with Dina. We don't know. But we can make the assumption that Dina's probably dead or missing with the, her bracelet being on Ellie. And this is going to be a huge importance in the last part two. In my opinion, though, I think Dina's dead and we're going to be going on a revenge slash maybe we'll find her. I think most likely though she's going to be dead and we're going to probably find out what, you know, all this entails. Who this cult is. I don't think they're the Fireflies or related to them. This is some new group that comes out and obviously they're not friendly. And what their, you know, thing is, I don't know. We're going to find out and they're going to probably be very, very deadly. But once we probably get another trailer or two, we'll probably start to really learn more about this. Because I think now with Days Gone being released, we should be getting near a... Another trailer slash big reveal for The Last of Us Part 2. So I'm very excited to be catching up with that, guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video, again, means a lot to me, guys. And we'll catch y'all for the next one. Leave me some more video topics down below. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Doodles. Doodles.